So I know I look like an egg right now. Ignore the whole greasy hair dressing gown thing, but it's currently um, half 12 in the morning. I've just sent off my draft <laughs> to my supervisor. You know when your brain just hurts? I need some sleep. <laughs> You know when you're burnt out and all you need is a hug from a dog because same um oh my god i'm so sorry everyone i literally feel like i look so different but yeah this is basically what sleep deprived stressed out overwhelmed guy looks like and she is not a mood and i do not want to be seeing her anytime soon you know like i'm normally not one person to get ivex but look at them i'll update you more in the morning um but yeah right now i'm just gonna go and get some sleep because I definitely need that. I really need to just turn off my brain. Good morning, lovely people of the internet. It's Friday morning, currently 11 o'clock. It feels a bit weird to start the vlog like this late in the morning. And I also didn't expect me to look like this at 11 a.m. But this is what happens when you go to bed at 1 a.m. after submitting your draft deadline for your dissertation, which you guys will have seen in the last clip. And I'm so sorry, I look like a mess. Like, what is happening with my hair? I was literally so tired yesterday that I even forgot to like take my hair out of the bun. I literally slept in it and it's now just kind of like fallen. So it kind of looks like I've got a growth coming out of my head, which is a bit weird. But yeah, this is so greasy and gross and I feel like I just don't look like me. But yeah, as I mentioned, last night I sent off the draft for my dissertation. Finally, four weeks after it was originally supposed to be in. As you guys will know from the last video that I filmed, which was basically just sort of like a goodbye for now video, that basically I've had like so much crap going on in my life. It's basically just had a massive impact on my final year and my degree and like being able to get work done and like oh, it's just literally everything that could possibly go wrong has gone wrong. No joke. Like I could not exaggerate how bad it's been but yeah because of all that it's taken a while to basically send off my draft deadline but this girl finally did it. I might look like a rough hobo right now um but I did it. Can we appreciate the eye bags? I'm scared to even come close to the camera. Like, I kind of don't want you guys to even see this. I'm not normally one to get eye bags, but like, look at that. Like, my eye bags have eye bags. Look how purple that is. I feel like they looked worse last night. Maybe it's because I've had a bit of sleep. No shit. This morning, I had a 10 a.m. podcast meeting with a group of girls that I am currently running a university podcast with, which is quite exciting. But because of the fact that I went to bed so late, I literally got up like 20 minutes before the meeting and I literally have just been sat in bed, like chatting to them, <laughs> looking like this. Um, little do they know, because the camera was off. That has basically just been my morning. I literally I had such a nice light in but even then I still felt as though I didn't have enough sleep. Now that the dissertation's out the way, like well the draft's out the way, um, I've got to wait for her like feedback because we are approaching Easter holidays. I don't think I'm gonna get that back anytime soon which is a good thing because I can now focus on like other pieces of work that I need to do because the work is definitely not over but because of the fact that I was literally working for about like 12 hours yesterday no joke I basically kind of want to take a bit of a kinder approach today I kind of want to take a bit of a self-care day I don't really have I don't have anything like scheduled for today so I was thinking because I've had such a rough day yesterday that I'm gonna have like a self-care day where I basically do nothing but first things first because I'm having a self-care day I need to like sort out this because I just feel so gross and like a oh, fool you know also sorry for like the really long morning intro but I just thought to kind of sit down now that I have the time so to speak to like actually go through like an update with you guys and like show you where I'm at so yeah if you do like the sound of today's vlog don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you're new here and um, would like to stick around it'd be amazing if you could click that subscribe button and it only takes two minutes well anyway I'm gonna go sort out this mess of a hair because like look at that that's just so bad like I love how like it just kind of naturally flops to the side like I feel like 
that really you know if nothing else does I feel like that really explains how I feel right now this was me at the start of my degree this is me now <laughs> like ugh, I'm just a mess um I'm gonna go have a shower and get back to you uh, no don't drop the camera Hey Maxie, your breath stinks. <laughs> look, Max, Max, where's the people? Max, look. <gasps> look. No, 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 wrong way. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> there we go. I think I feel a lot more put together now. So after that, I decided to sit down and have a quick lunch, which consisted of, you guessed it, mac and cheese. Shocker! As you can see, I wasn't sure if Max wanted to steal my neck and cheese or my spot on the sofa, but I soon realised it was indeed the latter and he literally made me move over. After he eventually settled, I decided to catch up on the latest episode of The Circle. Hey guys, so it's currently 4 o'clock. But yeah, basically since I'm having a bit of a self-care day today, I thought what better thing than to paint my nails because as you guys can see, they're completely natural but they're all just like really chipped. Hi Max. <laughs> I don't think he's very sure of the vlog. So basically what I'm going to do now is just um, remove the old nail varnish with some nail varnish remover and then put some new stuff on. I'm thinking of going actually this colour since I've not done baby pink in a while. But yeah, I basically just thought while I do my nails that um, I should just kind of chat to you guys. The last video that you guys will have seen from me is the video where I basically quickly went through the plan for the next few weeks about how I'm going to juggle both uni and um, vlogging. I feel like I'm really out of focus by the way. There we go, I think that's come back. But yeah, basically the plan is, if you haven't seen that video, from now onwards until the 30th of May, all of this content is currently just going to be filmed and just not uploaded because I simply don't have the time to like keep editing it. Fingers crossed you guys are actually watching this after the 13th of May and um, I've just finished my uni exams and everything is going amazing and summer's about to start. Yeah, that didn't exactly go to plan as you guys now know from watching this but all will be explained over the next few vlogs as to why I've decided to upload these videos earlier than planned and what's actually going to be happening with my assessments and whether I'll actually graduate on time. You know it actually feels really nice to be doing my nails today because um, as you guys can tell from the nails I've not really been like looking after myself for the past few weeks and not gonna lie you know being at home since Christmas has been hard because I literally have most of my stuff in Nottingham because if you're new here basically I went home at Christmas I took like basically nothing with me obviously expecting to not be at home that long and then the lockdown hit and other things have hit and I haven't been able to go back and that's kind of basically the reason why you guys are probably going to be seeing um or have already seen um for the past few weeks me pretty much just alternating the same outfits like I'm pretty sure I've worn this Harvard hoodie in um a previous video I know there's that kind of like unwritten rule um on YouTube where like you shouldn't really like repeat your outfits that much but since I only have about like five or six outfits that you you know I originally took back in that suitcase at Christmas I'm gonna be repeating some outfits so apologies if you're one of those people that just doesn't want to see the same thing all the time because unfortunately that's what you're gonna get honestly with this whole schedule that's going to happen it honestly just feels really strange knowing that I'm just filming this and I'm not gonna touch any of these clips until May bitch you thought, bitch you thought, bitch you but like I've come prepared I've even bought myself um some more like SD cards some of them are like 128 gig just so I have enough storage I don't actually have enough storage at the moment to like keep like six weeks worth of content on there especially since some of my videos do get quite long also I don't know if you guys can see Max he's like settled kind of like behind me if I like move out of the way um there he is in some respects my weekends are also going to feel like really weird as well because normally I basically do like Monday to Friday doing uni work and then on Saturday and Sunday I will pretty much do YouTube filming and editing so it's going to feel really strange not like having that to do on the weekends and like actually having like more time I guess not only for like uni work but also to myself. I at this point literally have no time for myself and I think that is why I'm getting to the point where I'm really burning out as you will have seen in some of the previous clips in this video. Just to show you how much like craziness that was going on yesterday um this is basically my weekly planner which some of you guys will recognize if you've seen like my previous kind of study videos and this normally is just kind of like filled with like events and like lectures and things that i need to attend during the week however it never looks as busy as this like this 
doesn't even look like a weekly planner anymore. It literally just basically has all of my dissertation scribbles on it from when I was doing my analysis over the last few days. And I feel like it's quite ironic to um, show you the fact that I've got loads of post-it notes on it as well because literally my desk is covered in post-it notes. I'm literally one of those people that like, if I need to get something done, um, I will like scribble it down on a post-it note and stick it somewhere on my desk um, for me to see. And that has basically been the last few months, you know, with uni. So they've all just been slowly like piling up and like, I honestly, no joke, I have about like 20 of them stuck to like my shelf or my desk. Yeah, honestly, this is literally the ramblings of a mad woman trying to get her degree. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought to show you that to kind of just show you, you know, the degree, pun intended, of like how much like stress and work I've kind of had in my life recently. And honestly, everything's just crazy. Not only am I just going to have like a relaxing day, but I'm also just going to try and stay off like social media, which I've been naturally trying to do anyway, because I feel like at the moment, especially with the lockdowns, like social media is such like, a toxic place. And considering all the crap that's already happening in my life, the last thing I need is to kind of come across some like bitchy comment or like just see something that is gonna upset me, you know, or like, you know, something like some bad news. You know the whole saying where it's like, um, out of sight, out of mind. I just kind of don't want to see that negativity right now. I don't really feel like I'm in that place mentally to kind of like deal with it in a good way. I feel like it will just get me down even more. So when you are watching this video, if I did ever seem quite quiet in April, um, when it comes to social media, that is why. Um, I feel like definitely at the moment, I've not really been on Instagram that much. Lol, you can I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Max is snoring. A few hours later, my mum and I took a trip out to grab some Mackies for tea and it honestly felt so nice just to get out the house, even if it was to sit in a car and go through a drive through I got my usual six chicken nugget meal or the Coke, which you can see I was enjoying possibly too much. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's 29 p.m. and I've just finished my Mackies. The plan is for the rest of the evening is I'm gonna watch tonight's new episode of The Circle and then I'm gonna basically go and wrap Dan's presents in a second. Basically, I kind of want to show you some of the presents that I'm gonna give him. I feel like I might as well because this content is gonna be released like way after his actual birthday so it's not like Dan's ever gonna see this content until after his birthday. I basically wanted to show you guys the presents because Honestly, I don't think I've ever been so excited for someone's birthday. That's not me trying to be all like mushy and whatever because he's my boyfriend, but like it's because like not to toot my own horn and thing, but I feel like I have raised the bar, my own personal bar as being a girlfriend. Like I feel as though I have stepped up in the girlfriend department and I'm actually like really gassed to give him the presents. Like, I think in some respects I'm more excited for his birthday than he is. <laughs> Dan has no idea what I've been planning to get him. We haven't like agreed on like any set presents or anything like he hasn't asked for anything in particular. Normally when it comes to presents um, him and I kind of buy each other like jokey presents and that's basically going to be the same for a lot of his presents this year as well for his 21st. Obviously I can't show you all of them because I've wrapped a few of them already but one of the things I haven't wrapped yet is basically this like it's like a um, sweatshirt but like as you can see it's got a 20 chicken nugget share box on it and if any of you guys who are watching this and know Dan personally you'll know that he is when I say obsessed with chicken nuggets I mean obsessed Dan is literally one of those people that if he ever had to like own and eat chicken nuggets like for the rest of his life he would happily do so I just know he's gonna find this hilarious basically other presents that I've managed to get him um, include um, a candle it's supposed to be Jesus on the candle like one of those like holy candles that you get but the basically the company that sell these candles photoshop celebrities on them and the celebrity that I've decided to buy for Dan is Keanu Reeves because also if you know Dan you know he's a massive fan of Keanu and John Wick and The Matrix. I was originally going to get him one with like Harry Styles' face on it because he actually likes Harry Styles as well but I thought Keanu because he literally thinks Keanu Reeves is like a god. But basically there is a present in particular that I really want to show you guys and I'm also so excited to give Dan like especially because of what it is and I generally do feel like I have been such a good girlfriend in getting him this. I am really excited to see his reaction. So I'm gonna show it you right now. Okay, so I pulled it in from next door. You guys ready for this? Because I honestly am so excited to give it him, okay? You ready? Because I am ready. I got him a PS5. Like, seriously. <laughs> 
can't say I'm not the best girlfriend in the world. For the last two weeks, I have been literally up at 7 a.m. every day, desperate to get my hands on one of these. Because if you have a PS5 or a PS4 or like an Xbox or whatever, you'll kind of know that like new consoles are very hard to get a hold of, especially the PS5 at the moment, which has only been like out um, to buy in the last few months. So like not a lot of people have them at the moment and I'm honestly shocked I managed to get my hands on one. But yeah, I'm really excited to give it him. So basically to give some context, Dan actually originally has like a PS4, but he shares it with his brother and long story short, he basically kind of wants to get his own PS4. I was actually not planning on getting him like a PS5 at all until like two weeks ago. And like, it's currently the 2nd of April today. Dan's birthday is the 8th. So as you can see, like, we are cutting it fine. We are very close to his birthday. Basically, he was originally planning to get himself one because they're a lot cheaper now that the um, PS5 is out. The plan was that his parents were going to buy him one for his birthday. And I was originally like, oh, okay, I'll buy him some like PS4 games to go along with that console that his parents are going to get him. But then basically recently, um, my brother has also been able to get his hands on a PS5, which is amazing. And watching my brother use the PS5 and like, try out all the new games and whatever and just seeing how amazing like the console is it made me just think I want to surprise Dan with one and I just know that this would really surprise him because even though I know he'd love to have a PS5 he was never planning on getting one because he feels like they're really expensive so he's not going to see this coming at all and he basically still believes that his parents are getting him one but I've been in like cahoots with them over the past two weeks saying like hold off on getting a PS4 like I'm gonna get down a PS5, fingers crossed, and it's arrived. And yeah, that's basically what um, I wanted to show you guys. Um, it actually arrived like a few days ago, so I'll insert a clip of me opening it. Um, we actually managed to order it off Amazon, and I've not only ordered him the console, but I've also decided to buy him like an extra controller because I'm pretty sure he can only use a PS5 controller if it's a PS5 game or something. Like I've literally, I've been learning so much, but like, don't tell me I'm not the best girlfriend in the world. Like I honestly, he's gonna be so shook when he sees this. I was shook that I managed to get my hands on it. And this is why I'm like so, so, so excited for his birthday. There was actually one point where I thought he was actually gonna guess it, but he thought that I was getting him a PS4 because he found out that I'd been discussing with his parents about like presents. I was just thinking at the back of my mind, like, yeah, I guess I'm getting you something placed related but it's not a PS4 it's a PS5 it is actually quite a big box <laughs> as soon as he sees like this wrap I worry that he's gonna like guess it I feel like he actually might cry <laughs> like I said I've never been so excited for someone's birthday you know and I've never been so excited like for a boyfriend's birthday before like as much as this like I've never bought any ex-boyfriend <laughs> something like this and I'm so excited Dan gets to be the first and only one. I've just noticed my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna say this quickly. I'm also really excited to give Dan the PS5 because he's been so down in this lockdown. Like, he has been one of those guys that has been really struggling through this lockdown and not seeing anyone and not seeing me or whatever and not being able to work. And I just feel like this is the thing that's gonna really cheer him up, you know? Like, he, like I said, he is not expecting this. Well, I don't think he is. And I really hope he isn't because I, honestly, I just want Thursday to come so I can see the shock on his face when he realizes that I've got him a PS5. Like, I honestly, I still can't believe it. Like, seeing the PS5 in my house, it just feels surreal because I've been trying to get my hands on one, like, every day for the past two weeks and it's been just so relentless, like, with all these tabs open waiting for them to be dropped and guess who got one? <laughs> So yeah, guess who just realised she didn't film an actual outro? This girl. And I call myself a YouTuber. Hmm. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this self-care vlog. And if you did, please take a second to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. Other than that, I've been Gaia. This has been another vlog and I can't wait to see you next time for more content.